This week on Life on Jupiter, sailing channels reunite and our solar system upgrade continues. good friend of ours, <laughs> Rebecca from Sailing Brick House, yeah. is in Pensacola, so we're going to go yeah. see her. In fact, we haven't seen her for about three years, oh, yeah. since South Africa. But uh, yeah, she's RBing, <laughs> so she's got a Class C, yeah. so go check that out, and she'll check out, she said, 42 foot, do you guys grow a family while I was gone, she said, <laughs> so, no, well, sort of, but yeah. <laughs> Yeah, a bit of a long day, but we should be there if nothing goes wrong. We should be there by three, four at the latest. But it's a little foggy here right now. But not too bad. I don't have to slow down for it. But it's, haven't seen fog in a while. This is a yacht club, oh. not an RV park, but apparently they take RVs. Mm -hmm. Say P Watson. Yep. That felt like trailing at the beach. <laughs> so this is them. There's four sites, which is fine because they're all empty. <laughs> There's 50 amp power and water, so just no sewer, which is fine. We can do that no sewer for a week is no problem. That's cool. Yeah, I just saw the manager. He knew all about it. Perfect. <laughs> so, which you want this one? Yeah. All right. Mm -hmm. I'll go get the truck. He gets crazy. Whoa. How much? Two hundred. Hundred. Yeah. Well, same with this. Yeah, same as that. But oh, yeah. that only does three hundred miles. We did four fifty today on a about a half a tank of fuel. So cheers, guys. Cheers. We are in Pensacola. Yay! We were here three years ago. <laughs> Wow. So this is where we finished the Great Loop, yeah? The Great American Loop. And I said, see you next year, and we did. Yeah, pretty Remember? much. Not quite, but yeah, we, we visited, yeah. So we're all set up here, and we've come to Pensacola. The original plan was to go somewhere else, because it was a long drive today. But we learned that Rebecca from Sailing Brick House is here, yeah. in her RV. <laughs> so uh, yeah, she's coming around for dinner soon. She'll be here shortly. Yeah, but it's getting dark and getting cold already. Oh. Well, anyway, we're here for two nights before we head further west towards Houston. But we're stopping New Orleans. New Orleans. Yeah. Are we, we going to dance? We, I'm not going to dance. <laughs> I might rock out on the inside. But we will dance. Yeah, we're going to go see some live music. Try not to get gnarly broken into, you know. Really? Yes, we're going to try not to get broken. <laughs> and uh, then off to Houston. I forgot to say. So we're at the Pensacola Yacht Club, not an RV park. Yeah. 
They it was because it. Rebecca's friend is a member here, and they said, oh, we got RV sites. And there is, there's four RV sites here with power and water, so that's cool. I think it's about 25 bucks a night, so it's about the same price as like a, a state park. But uh, yeah, this is cool. Get to look at boats again. So we put up our mast just over there about three years ago. How is that? Oakley. Oakley? Yeah. Are you a happy little fella? <laughs> oh my god, Jamie. Oh my god. Good to meet you. Are we going to be on YouTube? Yeah. yeah. Can you believe it? Is that okay? Have you ever thought of that? <laughs> Collaboration, I think they call it. <laughs> <laughs> Where is Jamie? Josh, it'll three be and four and weeks before it comes yeah. out. <laughs> Been together. It's amazing. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Lovely to Since see Since Hout Bay, South Africa. And a new okay. addition to the family. And a new baby. Yes, a new baby. Yeah. <laughs> this is Pensacola, Florida, guys. What an amazing day. We arrived here yesterday. We're at the Pensacola Yacht Club. They've got RV sites, four of them, with power and water. No sewer, but that's fine. And later today, Sailing Brick House will be here in their RV. That's Rebecca and Michael. They're going to be parked right there. We're going to have a good dinner tonight. And a couple of drinks, I'd reckon. Just for something different. And then tomorrow, we're out of here, off towards Houston. But before we get there, New Orleans for two nights. How's that? That's going to be cool. All right, today I've got one day to do some work on the solar system. So last time I got up to installing the solars on the roof, which uh, is done, but they're not wired up. They're not hooked up to anything. And we've also got the batteries installed, as in mounted so that they're not going to fall, <laughs> but not hooked up. Still waiting on some electronic equipment, waiting on the battery management system for the lithiums. One other thing, a Victron, uh, the Serbo GX, which is the networking module to tie it all together. So we're still waiting on that. So my challenge for the day, it's already like 10.30 in the morning. I've got like five or six hours. I want to wire the solar panels, run the wiring, and I'm not using MC4 connectors, which is very convenient, but they're all too light. On the gauging i want maximum amps out of my solar panels i want bigger wires so i'm going to run my six awg dual core across the roof down a conduit and into the front cabinet here i don't know if i have enough i bought a hundred foot i'm thinking because i'm going to have three runs with three separate solar controllers i think i'm a bit short but we'll see how we go all right so one of the first jobs i got to do is remove all of my tools because I need to remove this wall the wiring will come down the inside and then come out of this wall here and then forward into the overhang so yeah got to get all that stuff out but first I want to have a look at this uh, conduit it's actually part of the furniture and uh, is this beam here that runs from the ceiling so behind there I will be drilling a big hole and then it runs down to the floor. Apparently, it's already full of wires and I'm gonna put some more in there. That's the goal. from inside out straight up into the roof there and that's where I will start feeding down three big cables down to the through the floor and then underneath in that uh, my tool cabinet area somewhere there let's go and unload that tool cabinet So, 
I haven't never done this before, but all right. Oh yeah. Oh, there's some stuff. Cool. That's the back of the Nautilus, the water valve. There's the water pump. Very cool. All right. I might just. But this is where I need to access, there's the uh, converter. So that takes 120 volt and makes 13 volt or something to charge the little batteries, the little lead acid battery. This is the automatic transfer switch, which I will have to open up and connect to the inverter. And then up in there is the back of the fuse box. I will have to get up into there too for the circuit breakers. So the shore power, I'm guessing is that black line and it goes to the transfer switch and then that goes up it does to the fuse box you know i have to play with all that i gotta say it's not the neatest wiring job all i need to do is make sure that i don't electrocute myself that's all first hole in the roof for the wiring insulation <laughs> insulation just got tangled yeah oh i already see daylight <laughs> <laughs> Now I'm gonna go up and work out how I'm gonna make it much bigger. So that's two by six AWG gauge. That's really thick stuff. In fact, well, I cut at that end, look at it, it sort of gets spread out more, but yeah, but that, that's it. And that's the maximum wire size that my solar regs will accept. So that's what I want to put to the solars. The uh, MC4 connector stuff is generally 10 gauge. Some of it you can buy eight gauge, but this is, six gauge so it's going to really carry some current and not waste plus you don't want this stuff heating up inside your rv and causing a fire yeah? so it's 270 bucks for 100 feet but i think it's worth it now i gotta make three holes that big here <laughs> so there's our pilot hole call it a pilot hole because a pilot drilled it all right so i'm just going to start shaping Tool. That's why I brought the drill Aww. and the drill bits. So that didn't work. I'm glad I bought that Dremel. It's only 30 bucks though. So we're going to have to go with drill bits, which can make a mess, but that's what we've got to do. So I'm looking for one that's about that big. Saw, but I, I didn't buy a hole saw. So I'm gonna start with like, start with something like that. So that is good for. This one. One and a half, yeah, maybe if I can just get two complete holes, it will be enough. Yeah. So that's perfect position. I'll do one more, and we'll be able to squeeze in three. Alrighty. Now, so I'm going to have three runs of wires, or three strings of solar panel cable. So they'll come into the sides as appropriate and then uh, this will be glued over the hole and this is weatherproof. So I've got to do all that today in the next two or three hours because <laughs> the sun is going down and we're leaving tomorrow. No rush. So we should easily get three. One, two, three. Yeah, that'll be cool. So now I'm going to run the wiring. I'm going to run two because we've only got two strings right now but we've got a, another set of solar panels coming. And I don't know where I'm going to put them up here yet. Let's just run two strings of wire down there. Got to drill holes in the floor now and then go forward. Oh, now that's pretty good. I can do another hole outboard just out there. Yeah. 
That'll work. Nice. So that's pretty. That's the floor. So it's pretty hard wood. I think I drill a few holes and just break it away. Good. All right, that's that. I've just got to put holes in the front wall now, and then we can string it up. All right, so we're going to take this up through the floor. I'll go inside, take it up through the roof. Yeah, that's what we're going to do. Okay, I'll get mm -hmm. you to. I'll pull it up. Okay. You just feed it in. Okay. All right, so I'll get you to hold that, just like that, so till I get on the roof and pull the rest through. Barbecue tonight. This Saturday Brick House. <laughs> ah. It's so Welcome. nice. You're gonna do a tour of RV Brick House before brick house. I even do a tour of RV Brick House. <laughs> this is nice. So welcome. It's big too. Yeah. Hang on. So there's a slide where there. There are yep, both sides. Yeah, both there. sides are slid out. Right? Yeah. It's absolutely it's big plenty. enough. It's I mean, plenty. I mean, it's... I went home after seeing yours yesterday. And I'm like, why do I always have the smallest boat, the smallest RV, the smallest <laughs> paycheck, the smallest yes. everything? <laughs> if you like your tender, why do we have the biggest you? bills? Or, you know. <laughs> yeah, that's that's how I was comforted by the whole thing. Like, <laughs> you got a big bed in there. <laughs> that's a that's a that's bigger than our bedroom too. Bed, but there's no island around it anymore. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, Oh, it's pretty it. big yeah, for her alone. Um, yeah, that's it's, well, maybe it's about the same this size is, as ours. Yeah. yeah, and that's the driver. You know, you sit up there to drive, and there's storage the all up there, but we have the curtains drawn, so you can't. Can yeah. Oh, is it full of junk? <laughs> well, but, yeah, it's. The, I just want to see the driver it. part is full of junk right now. I just want to see the <laughs> cockpit. Oh yeah. It's a cockpit. So what's in the there? cockpit? There's uh, a the helm. Glass on the screen on the dash there. And then there's um, the backup cameras there. Oh, yeah. the backup camera's still on. So you can imagine when we're not having guests, all of this stuff is strewn across sure. the floor over here. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. oh. <laughs> Higher pressure monitor. Yeah. So most of this is my traveling kind of belongings. You know, yeah. I, when I travel, I've got to have my long johns, my sailing boots, my foul weather gear. I don't think the this RV quite has insane. enough space for everyday living clothes and sailing kit and stuff. So. Sure. Hi. 
<laughs> this is a department store. It's like the Walmart of gas station. Brisket burger. Wow. <laughs> How much? I don't know, I have no idea. Oh, $13. <laughs> With there. drinks or something? No. No? Just $13. But uh, got some weight to it. Maybe. Let me see. Maybe. How much? Can you check? $8. $8. Oh, <gasps> looks yummy, man. Look at wow. it. It's just all meat. No veggies, cheese. Right? Mm hmm. Do you like it? Mm hmm. It's, uh, it's sort of meat sauce, really. It's not really oh. much meat. And Oakley got Bucky's jacket. Oakley! <laughs> Well, we're trying to get a bit of a New Orleans experience. We've been busy all day. We, we were working on videos and I was still working with my solar panel trying to get all the bits that I need to connect it up. It's just gone 5 p.m. and it's, on US 90, business east for three miles. It's nearly dark. We sort of, we, we wanted to see downtown in the daylight, but anyway, it gets dark too early right now. Peak out traffic, not much fun. It's going to take us 45 minutes to get into town. Yeah. It's only five miles. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we're yeah. pretty much standstill traffic right now. But that's what we... It, we want to see New Orleans. We've got no choice. So we're going towards the French Quarter. Uh, some good friends of ours have given us a whole list of uh, places that we should go see. I only want to see some good live music, so maybe some blues or jazz. Yeah. And what do you want? Oysters! Oysters! <laughs> so, I've been craving for that since Virginia. So. Yeah, we went to an oyster, well, we were one day late at an oyster festival and yeah. uh, they'd run out. So, just be patient. This up. We took the wrong turn, I took the wrong turn. Uh, we're on a side road now. It wants us to go under the un overpass, which is way low. Looks okay. Uh, wait, wait, wait. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's a big hole. Ah! Big hole. Oh, no. Go back, go back, go back, go back, go back. So I found a campsite and then a car park on the other side of the road. Pull into the campsite, start backing up. Pitch, pitch black. And then I heard this god awful sound 
We found it. Yeah, we put a hole in the RV.